Hey guys, I'm back again. And we have a married woman who, this actually is a pretty old story, but because of the then boyfriend, which turned into the second husband, if it wasn't for him, this lady would be walking the streets to who know what, to do this again to someone else. We're talking about Denise Williams. Denise Williams was married to Mike Williams. He was a 31-year-old real estate appraiser. And the story happened way back in December, December 16th of 2000. So it's pretty old. And the bad thing is she's been free all this time. So what happened Her husband, Mike, had a best friend. And you can kind of guess what happens in this part. The husband name was Brian Winchester. The best friend name was Brian Winchester. And that was her husband's best friend. So he was trying to have insurance set up to kill the husband. That way, he can run off into the sunset with little Miss Denise Williams. And what makes it so bad is that the amount of the insurance claim, it was set for $2 million. Who has a $2 million insurance claim? It, it makes absolutely no sense. He's not a businessman. He's not, you know, he's not something where uh, he's not doing something that are bringing in hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions even. He's not a developer. So that's just a little, that right there is a huge red flag. Why would you set an insurance so high? It makes no sense. So she is now convicted with this long drawn out case. She is sentenced to 30 years. And you know, that's what happens. Her husband, he was a good guy. She, she didn't work. He took care of the home. She had a, a great home. She had a great life. You know, the husband went out and he was just doing what he normally does. His hobby. You know, he was a duck hunter. And he wanted to just go out and just do his regular day. And then... What happens? He goes missing. How is that even possible? That someone who has been doing this all his life, all of a sudden, goes missing. And... The ex-husband, the second, the second husband of hers, she married the best friend, okay? That was Brian, Brian Winchester. So when she married him, they were going through their problems, you know? And that's, that's an entire story, another story, because he kidnapped her, like in 2016. So... It just goes to show 
you'll never be happy when you do bad things to people. The bad thing about the story is they were kids. That was his high school sweetheart. They've known each other since they were kids. And that's an awful thing to know that someone you've been around all your life was planning your murder. So this is such a twisted story because Mind you, he was shot. He was shot. And um, the police, they try to say that his death was because of alligators. Okay. That might be true. But what about the gunshot? What about that? It's so weird because... There's two people, and that's the plan that they come up with. That's the plan. Okay, so yeah, let's just shoot him, and no one's going to notice. He didn't get robbed. He didn't have any known enemies. His, his, his mother, his mother was at the trial, and she's, she's older. And she said, give Denise the harshest sentence possible. This has been drawn out way too long. You know, the mom, her heart aches for her son. That's a pain that will never, ever go away. Ever. It's just, it's just really sad because you think you know someone and instead of divorcing him because she was basically tired of him, you know, she turned into something that he just couldn't see. She cheated with his best friend. Like, who does that? Who does that? So, what do you guys think? Do you think the 30-year conviction was just? You know, do you think that if it wasn't for the second husband, she would have got off on this heinous... <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I have a cold. Do you think that she would have got up on this heinous crime? <clears throat> Remember, he has a daughter with her. So she didn't think anything about their child, how she would grow up missing her dad. All she thought about was some money, just to force him and marry your boyfriend like she did. It's just, who's going to believe that you guys came up with a $2 million insurance? That's just, that's, that's just too, it's too unbelievable. For just someone that was a real estate appraiser. You know what I mean? That's, that's a lot of money. And it's it just, it just, it does spark the suspicion of the police. So, I don't know. What do you think? Do you think that she deserved the 30 years? Do you think that, you know, she was trying to fight it all these years? But at the end of the day, she's now in jail and she's going to be there for a very long time. Let me know. Do you think she deserves it? Or do you feel that it was the boyfriend that put her up to it? Or the boyfriend who, who thought of this, this, this plan? Okay. Until next time, talk to you later. Bye-bye.